Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna do a video that's super popular. It's the assumptions about me video. I posted on Instagram to see what everybody's assumptions were. But before we get into it, if you haven't already, which I know some of you guys haven't, please subscribe to my channel. And I can't tell you to like this video yet because I don't know if you'll like it, but if you do, give it a thumbs up at the end and comment down below and tell me what you think. Or if you didn't get to tell me your assumptions, you can put your assumptions down in the comments below. The first assumption that we have, that I work out a lot. Now, I would say this is like semi-true. I do work out pretty frequently throughout the week when I can. So I like to do yoga. I just started that after a basketball season. And I'll do that maybe like twice a week, three times a week if I feel like going. <laughs> and then I usually lift almost every day except for the weekends. If you think that's working out a lot, I guess it is. I've been lifting pretty heavy after season just cause I wanna stay in shape as best I can for the summer to get my body right. But I mean, yeah, I guess I, I guess I do work out a lot, you could say. Hold on, Nikki's face telling me. I'm filming a video. <laughs> Oh, put me in your video. <laughs> Say hey, hi. Video right now. All right, put us in it. Say hi, guys. Hi. Can they what see? Up? It's RJ. It's RJ. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What's up? Sorry for the interruption. Okay. So yeah, I would say that I work out pretty frequently. Now, during season, not so much because I was really, really tired from having practice and all that stuff. It's just not fun. I don't know. I feel like working out is more fun when you want to do it yourself, in my opinion. Okay, the next assumption is that I'm shy around new people, but once you get to know someone, you're chill and funny. I would say that's pretty true. I am not very outgoing. I don't like to meet new people, but I mean, if I'm forced to make friends, then I would say I'm pretty, that is my, that is my personality. I'm really chill. I'm funny, I guess. Um, and yeah, I'm just very down to earth, very chill. Yeah, I would say that assumption is pretty true, but I don't like to go out of my way to meet somebody, if that makes sense. But I mean, if you come up and talk to me, I'm super nice. So if you ever see me in person, don't be afraid to say hi. The next assumption is that I love makeup and I have an addiction to Disney. Now, I do love makeup. That is why I initially made this YouTube channel is to integrate makeup with confidence and being tall and all that kind of stuff. Like, I think I'm probably gonna make a whole video on this when my channel gets bigger, but um, being tall is really hard in society. <laughs> um, people make fun of you. People stare at you all the time. It's just, there's a lot going in with being tall. And I think that a lot of people don't have anybody to look up to when it comes to being tall from a beauty standpoint. I think that everybody looks up to people who play basketball, who play sports, who play volleyball. And I don't want to be put in that box, even though I did play basketball and I'm grateful for basketball because it did give me a scholarship and a free education. But I think that we need more role models who are very, very tall and who don't just are put in the sports category. We need some girly girls. I really had a role model who was as tall as me and who loves makeup and I mean, nobody in my family at least, nobody I see online that's 6'3 and enjoys makeup and beauty and all of that. That's not a model, that's just a regular person. So I mean, that's what I wanna be for anybody who needs it. Um, if you're tall, you don't have to play sports. But I mean, it does help. It helped me through college, it helped me through high school. Um, it is a part of who I am, but I don't want that to be my label. I want my label to be beauty, makeup, and how tall I am. But to answer the second part to that question, I wouldn't say I have a Disney addiction. I do really like Disney. Um, I think the third, well, yeah. So the third, the last Disneyland trip that we took was our third trip and, um, I feel like by then that was like enough for me. Like I don't need 
to go another time anytime soon. I feel like I've had enough Disney for now. Maybe Disney World would be cool to go to, but I've had enough of Disneyland. I feel like we've done everything and all of that. I do love Disney movies, but would I say I have an addiction to Disney? Not so much. Next assumption is that <laughs> this is funny. The next assumption is that it's probably hell waiting for you to get ready to go out. Now, I would say that that's true, but it doesn't really take me long to get ready. I mean, if I'm doing all of this and I'm talking and you know, I'm distracted, then yeah, it takes a while. But um, for the most part, if it's like, if I'm focused, if I know we have to go somewhere and I know there's a certain time that I have to be ready, then it doesn't take me that long to get ready. So true and not true. Kinda, not really, I don't know. Another assumption from Krista is that you're a hoe. Krista, you're a hoe. Okay, next one. Someone, well this wasn't, this isn't really an assumption, it's just a statement, but they said, why always blonde hair change the color to black for a few weeks? First of all, no. I had black hair, well it's not black hair, it was like brown and that's my natural hair color and it's really ugly on me, like it's not flattering. I feel like I look way better with the blonde and gray hair. I actually damaged my hair doing that so I do not suggest that you go blonde and then change it to black and then go back blonde. That's how your hair falls out. Prime example right here, don't do it. The next assumption is that you got a basketball scholarship to go to UNLV. Yes, this is true. I actually started my basketball career at the University of Arkansas my freshman year. I got a full ride to go there as well. Um, that's actually a whole nother story. That didn't work out for me either. Well, not either. That school didn't work out for me. It was not the school so much. It was more the coaching staff. Uh, dude ended up getting fired anyways, but we're not talking about him today. We're not talking about that. Um, but yes, I get a full ride basketball scholarship to go to UNLV and I'm very grateful and I'm very happy that I got to uh, finish out my degree there. The next assumption is from my friend. Shout out to Reese. This is uh, one of my teammates' best friends, but she's my friend now. Uh, follow her on Instagram. I'll put her Instagram right here. But um, her assumption is that I love her a lot and think that she's really cool. That is a very true assumption. Shout out Reese. <laughs> Next assumption is that I'm a stunning model that should give me her number. No, definitely have a boyfriend. I'm good off that, but thank you for the compliment. The next assumption is that I'm not playing in the WNBA. And by the way, I love your hair. I'm dying it because of you. CB. Thanks. I do think you should dye your hair, but do it in the healthy way. Don't try and damage your hair like I did, but I think it's really cool that you want to dye your hair. And your assumption is correct. I'm not playing in the WNBA. I really thought about it and I just, it's just not for me. You know, I played basketball for literally my whole life. I could play ever since I really could basically since I was like six years old my mom got me into playing basketball she played at the University of Georgia and she played overseas for a little bit and she wanted her kids to play so that's a main reason why I played basketball and I'm happy that I did get to play basketball because it gave me a free college education and I'm very very grateful for that but I was thinking about going over not going overseas I was thinking about playing in the WNBA for a little bit but um, I'm just I just want to start my life what I really want to do, which is YouTube and makeup and being a role model for everybody and anybody. But yeah, that assumption is true. I'm not playing in the WNBA, but I'm still grateful for everything that basketball has given me. All the opportunities that basketball has given me. <coughs> Another assumption is the same as the WNBA. No, I will not be going to the WNBA. I'm actually just doing this. I'm going to get a job. The reason why I'm not going to the WNBA is because basketball has worn me out. I I just feel like I can't really play anymore. Like my back is bad, my knees have gotten pretty bad, my ankle has always been messed up, and I just I'm just done with it. I'm like I said, I'm very grateful for all the opportunities that basketball is giving me, especially considering the free education and all of that. But I just and the people that I met playing basketball, I've met some really good friends. Uh, playing basketball, but I mean, I'm just, I just am, am done with it. But yeah, so sorry you guys, if you're watching, you wanted me to play in the WBA. I'm sorry, but that's not, not the route that I'm choosing to go. I'm 
unfortunately. Next assumption is, <laughs> I assume you cry when you get tattoos. Shout out Alyssa. And that is not true, you should know that. Um, I, all of my tattoos actually, I haven't cried on any of them. But I feel like you shouldn't cry if you're gonna get a tattoo. Like you should be prepared for it and know that it's gonna hurt regardless. But the pain really isn't that bad. I suggest getting tattoos, they're fun. Another assumption is, despite your height, you will only date men that are taller than you. Well, considering that I'm in a relationship that I'm probably planning on being in for the rest of my life, and he's taller than me, there's that. But to answer the question, I don't even know if I should answer the question because if he watches this, he's gonna get mad. So I'm not answering that question, but the answer is the answer that I gave. The last assumption that kind of covers the rest of them, or for the most part, is that um, my height, yes, I am 6'3", I'm very, very tall, proud to be tall, happy to be tall. Um, I love being tall, I wouldn't want to have it any other way. And that's it for the assumptions video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I know you guys are watching are not subscribed. Don't forget to subscribe but yeah if you have any suggestions for the content that you want to see for future videos on my channel let me know in the comments down below don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it thanks for watching bye